So a lot of you are still talking about this story. By now you've heard Las Vegas Raiders head coach John Gruden has resigned and it comes after a lengthy New York Times story that exposed emails in which Gruden reportedly used racist, misogynistic and homophobic language. But it gets worse. The Washington football team is tied to some of this. Our Darren Haynes is tracking the fallout for us. Dia, I have to say this was really a jaw dropping report and it appears an investigation into the burgundy and gold is directly tied to Gruden's downfall. Quick answer. Yes, uh, John Gruden reportedly exchanged numerous emails with former Washington football team president Bruce Allen. Gruden's emails were discovered by the NFL as part of its investigation into workplace misconduct at the Washington football team, also known as the Wilkinson Report. Now, some of those emails also shed light on sexual misconduct within the Washington football team. According to the Times, Gruden and Allen exchanged emails that included photos of women wearing only bikini bottoms, including one photo of two Washington team cheerleaders. In July, the NFL announced the completion of the independent investigation into Washington owner Dan Snyder and the culture within the organization. The investigation began after more than 40 former female employees complained of long running harassment and misconduct and a toxic work culture within the team's organization. Now we reached out to the Washington football team for comment. We haven't heard anything back from the team yet. Now we still don't know the full scope of the review. We don't even know everything they found. However, the NFL Players Association plans to petition the NFL to release the findings of the investigation. The NFL had no plans to release the emails because the confidentiality was an element of the investigation. Now, Leslie, coming up at six, Washington legend Mark May talks about why he's now embarrassed with the Washington football team and what's about to happen next after now 650 plus 650,000 plus emails have now been released. Hey, you got to wonder how many other people at the top may be implicated in these emails. Mm -hmm. Dee, we know you'll stay on it.